And hello again, folks. Today I'm going to teach you how to <coughs> insert your custom models into the Track Assembly tool. So let's start, shall we? This thing is actually pretty easy. I've prepared a small E2 script that I'm going to be using here today. And we are going to insert this HX window into the Track Assembly tool for, use, for using it as a piece. So first thing you we have to go to do is set the angle of this pop to zero zero zero. So I'm gonna do that by using the rotator tool and set all these three to zeros. See that? Which are roll all zeros, then click it. Coordinate system. I'm gonna be using a Xbox block cube six by six by six. See that? I'm gonna use two of those. So let's set up the cheats. And then we can enable the picker. Now, if we point to one pop, you can see that the X is pointing towards me. We're using this thing as a piece. We're gonna use one point here and one here. See that? By making this, we're gonna rotate these blocks like so. So the X, the, this box coordinate system should point directly to the normal vector of the surface of the point. See that? And the same thing for the other block, like so. Now we need to freeze everything in place and I'm going to use precision apply physical settings. Take that and that and that. So everything should be aligned perfectly now. Then use the precision alignment tool. Create one point here and mass center. This is very important. You have to choose mass center here. Point to here, then two to one move entity. And the same thing for the other block. There, we have the coordinate systems properly set up. Then let's see the Trick expression to chip. If I am setting my mold, in my case is DSV, and then I'm going to add this prop to. This is the prop for my coordinate system. In my case, it's cube six by six by six. My type is set to PHX window just to have something there and here we are telling the TA tool to automatically generate the name for this prop by using the model in, in our case it will, we use window 1 by 2 MDL to do the thing and here we have to set point ID. For, let's see, this should be point 1 and this should be point 2. Then just pound. We have to clear the things a little bit. There. So, 
I'm just gonna set the point ID to 1 and click that. Here, our first point is generated. And repeat the procedure for point number 2. Click here. There we go. This is our exported point, guys. We're gonna copy that. We're gonna put it into the oops, I don't have my database exported, so I'm gonna show you how to export that now. In case any one of you don't know how to do it. So here we're gonna bring the console track seventy two export database one then we're gonna bring our track seventy two and shift with R shift plus reload and now we we have exported the server and the same thing for the client just click the export db button right there and it should be generated so here is the dsv folder we're gonna copy this thing that we generated earlier control c with my DSV go right there. Here we, we have exported the server and the pieces. You have to edit those two files. Click the pieces. Everything that starts with a DS symbol here should be a co comment. And here we, you have to put your custom pieces mm, it's nice for you guys not to get confused the uh, new pieces with the old ones so you just have to put a comment here new thing of new I don't know piece new window piece and paste that here then we should copy that and open our client database then again scroll all the way down and control V save that save that here is our model PHX by the name of by the type of PHX window our custom type here and the name which is automatically generated by this string then no that means that we don't have a point that we are looking to it's automatically generated by the origin which is the coordinate system of our S props block and here our custom angles 0, 90, 0, 0, 90, 0 and that's it guys this, this should work now normally we should exit from gmod then we should start it again but i'm too lazy to do that i've got my source right here so space and reload all the sources this is the same as running in gmod again and here our custom model should work see that we don't really need these two anymore. Okay, 
just like so then snap see that so I hope my tutorials was useful for one of you guys some of you want to add their custom models to attack SMD2 and don't know how to do that I guess my readme didn't really be something useful for you so have fun guys and see you next time